Hey, welcome back to the channel. Let me show you a demo first and then we'll get into the tutorial. So let's say I'm on a prospect's website. So I'm gonna start here with Zapier's Chrome, which is basically one way to trigger like an automation. Here, I'm just gonna type in maker's name, which is like name of a prospect. And I'm just gonna put in one liner, any extra snippet of words or text or a catchphrase or something that I wanted to add in my message to this lead. All I do is just kind of type those couple things out. You can customize this however you want. We'll get into that. And then I just hit send. I wait for 10 or maybe 15 seconds. I go to my and now I have a personalized outreach message ready to be sent. Now this is so much easier to scale. All I'm gonna do is like just go to like 10, 15 other websites, do the same thing, and then my automation is gonna take care of all those messages right away in my inbox. That's all? So let's see how to build it. If you've been following, you know I love Zapier, so we're gonna use Zapier for this automation. We're gonna create a new Zap automation, and our first step is going to be a new push from Zapier Chrome extension. So this is exactly what we saw with like, you know, the Chrome extension tab, where we had a few input fields for the Zapier automation to trigger, which is like a manual push. So here we can add any fields that we want. I have like a couple here, but you can customize it based on whatever you want, whatever details you want your automation to have, or whatever input what details you would need based on your automation flow. Just kind of type the name of whatever variable you want to call it. And it's just going to be text field or a number field in the Zapier Chrome extension. That's going to trigger automation. Second step is going to be scraping the website. I've talked about Apify like, you know, in my previous video. So this is like a basically a marketplace, a bunch of scraping automation tools. Apify is basically going to trigger scraping automation. We're going to scrape all the content from prospects website. We do this so we can like take all the details from the prospects website and then, you know, use that to kind of create that custom and personalized message without us doing all the work ourselves. The next step is like optional. I just formatted the time based on the Zapier Chrome push. This is so I can update my spreadsheet. I'm just using a spreadsheet to keep track of every message I'm sending out here. So that one's optional. But our next step here is using ChatGPT. So if you go to ChatGPT, we're gonna use ChatGPT as the app and our action is gonna be extract structured data. So this is one of my favorite actions with ChatGPT. So you know how you can chat with ChatGPT and all that stuff and you want like a certain output, you need to like maybe define, okay, give me this, give me this, give me this. With this step, all you get to do is like give you a prompt, but then also just define what values you want to extract. And those value will be extracted as a variable we can just use later on. For example, here I'm getting any email which is listed on the website. So I can send it to that email, the target audience audience based on their copy, their value proposition, what's a unique selling point or something for the product or the my prospect, and also the name of the product and their website kind of stuff. So again, based on your, you know, your use case, if you're in real estate, you might need something else from someone's website versus if you're in services or some B2B or e-commerce. Really like uh, what we're doing here is like scraping all the content from their website, giving it a chat GPT and asking it to extracting certain value. If you think something you want to extract is not going to be easy for chat GPT to understand, you you can scroll further down and like just describe for each value what do you mean or give examples so chat gpt can do a better job of course you can run a test to make sure that it's actually getting some good data and then if not you can work with your values to extract or your prompt to make sure chat gpt is understanding you well i think about chat gpt or like in this automation as like an intern intern so just kind of give as much details i think it's necessary for it to do its job not too much but not too little so it's not confused moving on so once we get all the values my next step which i said is optional i just update stuff in my google sheet so i just take all the values i update my google sheet so that way i have a record of what's going on in terms of all the outreach i'm doing and our next step here is going to be crafting that personalized message so for this i'm going to be using claude by anthropic i've been loving claude for a lot of my writing work and chat gpt from other analysis stuff so you need to connect your claude with the api key which is like once you go there it's going to show you how to do that so here's a club and here you're going to have to do a bit of prompting to make sure you kind of craft message the way you want it to you can use prompt genie which is a prompting tool i built to kind of make this all all this work easier but yeah basically like craft your prompt with all the variables now we're giving like the tool name and we're giving it information about the target audience we're giving information about the value proposition we're giving it information about what we do so like that way ai can take all this information and craft that personalized message the message i'm going to craft could be like really different from every prospect is gonna reach out to. So I wanted AI to actually start thinking about the way I wanted to think about it. So what I did here is under system prompt, I gave it like an example of kind of the structure of the template, 
how I wanted to structure the email. Again, you know, we have to bring the internal analogy, like we wouldn't want like, you know, let's say a new salesperson to like, hey, just go out and like blast those emails to anyone. You don't know if it's gonna work or not. We give them a script, we give them examples of what has worked in the past. So it's the same approach here. And then giving it all the new data for like that personalized message, which are like, you know, the inputs we would need about the client. And then our next step is to craft, you know, the draft the message in the inbox. I don't like sending the message right away because like sometimes it might make mistakes because it's AI after all, but we're still more intelligent. So I like to create the draft in my inbox so that way I can just have a final review and then send it away. I mean, in this case, I'm like, you know, just asking the scraping part to kind of get me the email, but based on your industry, based on like your use case, or sometimes like this part doesn't work very well to kind of get the emails. So you can use like third-party email finder tools. For example, you know, we can have our second step as hunter.io, use like find email, as the action and then just connect your account and then just kind of give it any field it requires for it to do its job. But uh, yeah, so that's like one another way you can kind of find that email for the person you send it to. So that way you're know, like your message is ready. You have the email you're going to send it to and like everything's all good to go. All you got to do is like one final review and send it away. So that's the automation. If you think this was useful, you should subscribe to my weekly newsletter. We're going to talk more about like how you can get more work done in less time. Very effective. And if you're interested in business automation, you know what to do, but you just don't have the time or the team to do it for you. Let's chat. I'm going to drop a link here for Google Forms. So like if you're interested in like, you know, getting your automation done for your business, shoot us a message. We'll ask for a couple details about your business. So that way we make sure it's a good fit and we'll jump on a call and go from there. If you like the video, give a thumbs up. And if you want to see more content like this, subscribe to the channel and also let me know in the comments what other videos you would want me to cover. I hope you enjoyed this one. See you next time.